Um, I'd like to show you today um, a page from the draft notes for Pieces of Land, which is um, a set of travel writing which uh, Crossley Holland completed um, during travels around different UK islands. This particular set of notes focuses on the island of Lindisfarne. As a medievalist and scholar of Old English, Crossley Holland would have arguably approached Lindisfarne with a much stronger sense of anticipation than perhaps some of the other islands he visited. In the published version of the book, the first half of the Lindisfarne chapter focuses heavily on the history of the island. It's only towards the end of the chapter we get a small glimpse into Crossley Holland's own personal feelings and insights during his visit to the island. And these carry a strong sense of disappointment, mainly surrounding his opinions of the um, modern life as it takes place on the island. The partic these particular draft notes um, are of interest because they provide a little more insight into Crossley Holland's own personal experiences and feelings. They also give a little bit of an insight into how he sees the background and overall feel of the book in general. He says that this book will be in part a celebration of the forces of nature in places where man and nature still live in a proper relationship. This idea of man and what Crossley Holland calls nature living in a proper relationship is a strong theme throughout his work and the rest of his career. He's not only interested in um, the animate nature, but also the inanimate um, objects within nature. He notes later on in the draft notes that it will be a celebration too of the inanimate as well as the animate. Not only the sea, but the shore, not only the grass, but the earth that it springs from. At the same time, Crossley Holland demonstrates that he has a very strong opinion on what this proper relationship should look like and has perhaps a lower tolerance for inanimate objects within modern life. He notes further down in the notes on this page, the water tower is an atrocity. It is virtually the first thing that catches the first comer's eye. Why should it be placed so prominently? Does, it have to be, does there have to be a tower on this spit of land where only the castle rises? It appears that Crossley Holland has a much greater tolerance for the human inanimate objects of the past on Lindisfarne rather than those of modern life. Perhaps he sees it as an intrusion into his experiences of the past. <laughs> 